Good morning. How are Good morning. you guys? Good morning. Good How are you? Excellent, excellent. Oh, this is such a fun movie. Talk about the first time you put on the jumpsuit and the, the and the you know the proto pack and everything. It's kind of like you know getting to be a child, but you're grown up and you're getting paid for it. So talk about the first time you saw yourself in full costume regalia. Let's start with you, Carrie. You said it. It's kind of like you're a child and that you're playing dress up. It, it feels like I won a contest. Feels like I'm not supposed to be there. I remember thinking that I was like very cool about it. My, my husband says I have ice water in my veins. And then I was in my trailer and I put on my jumpsuit and I was totally geeking out. I mean, I was totally geeking out. It's like, it's the, it's the stuff so many of these, uh, of our amazing, our, our amazing fans would, would love to trade places with us because it really is, it's the best feeling. The proton packs are fun. They're heavy. <laughs> They're actually much heavier than I was expecting, but man, yeah. what a blast. Literally. Right about Paul. <laughs> Truly. Um, yeah, you know, the, the first time we ever put on the suit, before you ever start doing filming anything, you have to do these fittings. And so um, that was really where I kind of learned for the first time I was going to be wearing one. Um, and they had had just a rough kind of mock-up of what it what it was. And that was the first thing. They said, you got to put this on because you're we're making you a suit. And as soon as I heard that, <laughs> I went, like, wait a minute. <laughs> You're making me a suit. Um, and so that was very exciting to, that was the first time I think putting on one of those things, but it, it didn't have our names or any of the stuff on it. Mm -hmm. And then the first day of filming that we had to put it on, you know, so you kind of go into the little trailer and there's, and, um, and it's hanging on a hanger and it said Gruberson and it was the same color and it had the patches. And it was the, it really is the coolest moment oh my God, that is awesome. <laughs> They're very comfortable. And, um, and every single time you put it on, you think, God, this, this, wow, this is pretty, pretty this is pretty special. It's pretty amazing. Well, I also feel like you have to cheat code and getting the most fun jobs in the business. Like <laughs> you always seem like you have, I don't know if it's the universe or you're just a really super cool person. Mm -hmm. When people look at you, they're like, I want to put him in the most fun project. What do you say to that? Because I'm always like, and you are like, we watch you on screen. You always seem like you're having the best time. How much of that do you share with your co-star to just let them realize? Because, you know, Things are not guaranteed in this business. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these types of opportunities don't just come along every day. Mm -hmm. So what do you do to help your co-stars understand or like be in the moment, like enjoy, you know, really lean into it? Oh, boy. Uh, well, I don't know if I help my co-stars in, in any way, but, um, you know, each kind of thing has each job, each everything that I've been lucky enough to get uh, or work on has had, um, there have been moments where it's important to take a step back and recognize what's kind of amazing about it outside of the actual movie itself mm. or the show itself. It might be the people, it's the people that you're working with or you know where you're at, some of the things you get to experience on something like this. It doesn't take much because you know the, the memories that we'll all take from it is the, the experience of making it. To be able to be in a Ghostbusters suit like we were talking about, but to stand alongside the actual Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters that we've grown up watching that we all love is such an amazing life experience, let alone work experience. And, you know, you ha we have so little control over how anything turns out, what gets made, what doesn't get made, that I think it's crucial to recognize the just the amazing experience of doing something, of working. And 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 this one, I mean, my God, I got to drive the Ecto-1. I got to work with the original Ghostbusters. We're shooting in the firehouse. And I mean, it's it, it, unreal. How do you how do you even put that into words? Absolutely love this and love this for you, Carrie, that you get to play someone a little bit less stressful and uptight. So absolutely. And I can't wait for the public to see how much fun this movie is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for Thank your time. Thank you. Absolutely. Kathy, what's the photo of your Tribune? Good morning, guys. Hi, Hi. how are you doing?
Excellent, excellent. I was telling the other guys, I said one of the perks of probably being in this movie is getting paid to wear the outfit. The thing that we all dressed up for for Halloween. Tell, share a little bit what it felt like, you know, because we all saw the movies as kids and we all wanted to be Ghostbusters. So talk about that experience the first time you saw yourself on screen in full regalia. Let's start with you, Wolf. And since I would start with you, Finn, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. I was like, that's awesome. No. <laughs> I feel like such an alpha. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Well, I am an alpha. <laughs> like, you know me. I don't want to be a part of this interview. Well, you know anymore. that, like, I'm an I, alpha. I, like, don't want to be here. Like, I'm an alpha. Yeah. Um, it was amazing. Like, being. Uh, in the suit, it's one thing to like be in it, and it's another thing to like watch watch it because it's just like it all comes together, and yeah, it's really fun. McKenna, I have to say, I love the fact that you are playing a brainiac, a girl that loves science, that loves to explore. Um, because I think it's important for young girls to see that type of imagery that you can be cool, that you can be a girl that colors outside the line. How much did you enjoy portraying a character? Such as that. I, Go for it. I'm so sorry. I loved it. Um, I think that Phoebe is the coolest character I've ever played. I think that she's incredible. I don't know. She's so intelligent. Uh, I don't know. I love getting to play Phoebe. I think that it's an honor to be able to play a character that a lot of kids and parents can see themselves in. What's one takeaway that you want folks to say? Because I think comparison is horrible sometimes. You know, this is, although you have the OGs in it, this is its own thing, right? People should lean in and understand is this is where the Ghostbusters are in 2024 and not back in the other days. What's one thing that you want audiences to understand as they're getting ready to see this movie? Let's start with you, McKenna. Um... I don't know. Going into this film, I just hope that people are open to the fun. I think that it's just a really fun movie. And if you're, you know, it's it's not... I don't know. It's, it's yeah. just a really fun movie. It's something that if you're going to the movies and you want to have a shared experience with the audience around you and really get into it and enjoy it, this is the movie for you. I think that this is a fun film for people to take... Lightly. It's 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 a great time. I think that this um That's most of Frozen Empire. Take it lightly. <laughs> um I agree. No, I, I think it's just like a really fun film and uh it does like it breathes or it doesn't take itself too seriously. A, yeah, yeah, and it breathes a new like life into is that a saying? Breathes breathes, br breathes, breathes life uh, into Yeah, into into yeah, it gives a new life sort of to um the Ghostbusters sort of uh franchise and I think you know gives the vibe of the original but also yeah does something new and has a new villain and uh, really takes a, a lot of swings so um, yeah absolutely thank you so much guys for thank your you time. yeah and much success with the film really enjoyed it thank you thank you hi Katia Woods with the Philadelphia Tribune how are you Ernie I'm fine Katia how are you Excellent, excellent. I so love that you were in this movie. I love that your character is now running things, you know what I mean, and, and nurturing the next generation. How much fun was it to step back into the Ghostbuster, Ghostbuster world? Uh, it, to me, it's a blessing and it's a lot of fun. And I look back 40 years ago, I never thought, I mean, I couldn't have imagined we'd still be here doing this. And for me and Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Annie Potts, uh, who was there in the original to suit up and and go into another adventure? That's truly, truly special, and I and I thank Sony and the filmmakers for allowing my character Winston to go from a guy looking for a job and to um, doing very well for himself over the past forty years, and really a character that uh, reflects an example of what is possible. And I think that's important to Winston. It's always been important to me, and. It's great to not have to go back and try to play that same character as if the 40 years hadn't passed. 100%. I think it's also important, you know, like you said, it's for young black kids to say, hey, we can be in these spaces and we can be leaders and we yes. can be innovators, even though it's make believe. Talk about that 
part because your character, although you know you get to be funny, he has agency, he has vision, and nobody is. It's just understood that he's in charge and he's running things. Right, and I think, uh, and that he can also be a good person, because sometimes I've seen people in charge and running things, and you think they really shouldn't be. But I think Winston still cares. He still he still appreciates the guys who gave him a job when he really really needed a job. Um, I think he takes it all very serious. I love the fact that this whole ghost busting things, he realizes it's bigger than just running around with a backpack. We need to research, we need to find out what this is about. And he also recognizes that we're in our golden years and we need to let some younger people run around with the packs on. We need to, <laughs> we need to act our ages. Uh, but he's, um, I think we'll find if we go into more that he's a very charitable man, charitable man. And I think he cares about his community. And um, so there's a lot of layers. And it really took the studio to say, you know, like I said, to, to give him that agency so that he can be an example of what's possible. And that means a lot to me. 100%. I like the part where you said, you know, it's time to get out of the chair. Because I think sometimes as people get older, they forget to do that, you know, yeah. like, hey we did our thing, let somebody else, you yeah, know? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that to Absolutely. recognize that time moves forward. And um, I mean, we can still run around and be Ghostbusters. I'm sure me and Bill, we could still make a movie and it's just us. But we're 40 years later, it's a different audience. It's, you know, it's, <laughs> you, need, you need to know that you're gonna step aside. I wish in politics, they would just start preparing somebody so you can get the hell out the way and let some young people step in here. Um, but uh, yeah, no, we, we know that uh, we have to move in. And this new cast is incredible. They're all truly, truly talented. And I have to really give a big shout out to Celeste O'Connor, who um, uh, is in the movie and she plays Lucky, but she's, she's a, a, a black actress who is just incredible. And um, I remember it was one scene where she kind of stood up for me and um, reminded me that it's not okay to let some things just slide. Sometimes you need to be a little bit more outspoken, and she's she's just amazing, along with all the other uh, cast members in this movie. So I'm very, very proud of it. Absolutely. Love this for you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Oh, thank much you. success. All right. Thank you. You take good care. Thank you.